And if you've ever wondered what's more powerful, free marketing or paid marketing, be sure to stick around and watch today's entire video because I'm about to share with you the pros and cons of each and the perfect combination for you to use in order to grow your revenue, grow your business, and at the end of the day, make way more money with both paid and free marketing. With that said, if this is your first episode, my name is Mish Wilson, and over the course of the last few years, I've done now over $15 million in total sales, and I've used both paid marketing and free marketing in my internet marketing journey, so I think I'm qualified to share with you this topic. Now, as always, if you get value, don't forget to go ahead and let me know in the comments section below what your biggest takeaway was. Don't forget to go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon notification button so that you're notified when I do more videos just like this. And with that said, let's go ahead and dive right in. Welcome to the Misha Wilson Show, where we show you how to create massive success online so you can enjoy the lifestyle of your wildest dreams. All right, so again, today's topic is the difference and the pros and cons of free marketing versus paid marketing. So first, let's define each various form of marketing. So free marketing would be, you know, creating a video just like this, leveraging various social media platforms, putting out content into the marketplace, leveraging Facebook, YouTube, you know, Instagram, you know, no matter what the actual platform is, putting out content and as a result, having people starting to follow your content, engage with your content, and as a result, if you do things correctly, hopefully bringing them down a path where they end up becoming a lead and then going ahead and purchasing your product, all right? So that's, of course, the free form of marketing. The paid form of marketing is using a lot of those various same platforms, but instead of just posting the video and hoping someone comes and watches it or posting a text post and hoping someone comes and reads it, you would go ahead and post the video or create the text post and then pay that platform. So pay Facebook or pay YouTube to go ahead and run that video or post as an ad to get people to click through your website where hopefully you convert them into a lead and then of course a sale. All right, so one of course costs money and one does not cost money for the obvious first difference between the two. But really, once again, you know, there's a few things that you should keep in mind when using each of these various methods. So firstly, obviously, it depends on your situation, right? If you have absolutely no cash flow, if you have no money to get your business off the ground and you're working on a shoestring budget, I would highly recommend looking at the free strategies as a method for you to start to generate leads, start to generate sales, start to build your business without having to have a bunch of money out of pocket with, of course, paid ads. Now, on the flip side, if you wanna go fast in your business, right? So that's the biggest pro when it comes to, of course, the free style of marketing. The biggest pro with, of course, the paid style of marketing, and therefore the biggest con with the free is the fact that paid is much faster, all right? So when I can spend a dollar on Facebook ads or spend a dollar on YouTube ads and very quickly have you know a couple people visit my website, if I'm doing things correctly when it comes to converting people into leads, converting people into sales, et cetera, I can ramp that up really quickly. So I can spend a dollar, then I can spend $10, then I can spend $1,000, then I can spend $10,000. And if I'm doing things correctly, I'll spend 10,000 and make 15,000 back. I'll spend 15,000, I'll make 25,000 back. I'll spend 25,000, I'll make 35,000 back. I'll spend 35,000, I'll make 50,000 back, and so on and so forth. There will always be positive ROI, right? And so if you have that sales mechanism dialed in, that sales funnel dialed in that allows you to go ahead and spend a dollar and make a dollar fifty or two dollars back on the back end while simultaneously building your list, it is my own personal and professional opinion that paid traffic, paid advertising, and paid marketing is absolutely the way to go. But if that isn't an option for you, once again, you can stick with free marketing. The con, once again, is that it takes way longer. It takes a lot more work. You know, there's no such thing as free at the end of the day. So really what you're doing is you're investing your time and your effort and your energy into free marketing, where on the flip side with paid marketing, you're investing money. But once again, if you don't have any money, 
that's kind of the deal, right? You're stuck with free marketing. What I would personally recommend as the absolute best combo in order to go ahead and build a business in the short term and scale it as quickly as humanly possible, while also building a long-term business that has solid marketplace positioning that positions you as the leader and the authority and that positions you as the go-to expert in your space, is very simple, all right? You wanna focus on paid traffic to get your business off the ground, the six-figure mark, the seven-figure mark, the multiple seven-figure mark, depending, of course, honestly, on what your goal is, right? And then as you're doing all this stuff with paid traffic, scaling this profitable business, you also wanna be executing on free marketing strategies. You wanna pick one platform and get really good with that one platform. Maybe it's YouTube videos just like this. Maybe it's Facebook, maybe it's Instagram, maybe it's TikTok. Pick one social media platform and start posting free marketing content on a very regular basis, right? And the exact same thing holds true with paid traffic. Pick one platform at the very beginning, get to a point where you can spend a dollar and then make $2 back and then scale up on that one platform. And when you do the two simultaneously, what happens is you get all the benefits of, of course, paid traffic. You can scale your business really quickly. You can grow your business faster. You can actually create more cash flow if your sales funnel is set up correctly, while at the same time, you're constantly building a powerful brand in the marketplace so that as your business continues to grow, your brand also continues to grow, and you kind of have a compounding effect on your position in the marketplace, which in turn allows you to charge more, you know, make more sales without having to be some kind of sales, high pressure weirdo on the phone. And at the end of the day, it just sets you up to be in a really good place for your business when you have a bunch of content out there, goodwill content, you know, content that positions you as the leader and the authority, having a lot of people look up to you in a very, you know, kind of social organic way, while at the same time building a massive audience. And what's really nice is if you've dialed in paid advertising, you're building a huge audience with paid advertising, it really allows you to put gasoline on everything you're doing with the free stuff. You can build up a big email list, you can send your email list back to your YouTube videos, your Facebook posts, depending on obviously which medium you go ahead and choose. So once again, my personal preference, if I had to choose one or the other, I've always been a paid traffic guy. But with that said, the perfect combination is to do both at the same time. With both of them, choose one form of paid traffic and one form of free traffic. Get really good at that one form of traffic before you move on to the next. Become a master at that platform. Do both at the same time and scale your business with record pace. As always, I hope you got a ton of value out of this episode of The Misha Wilson Show. If you did, let me know what your biggest takeaway is in the comments section below. Don't forget to go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon notification button, and I will see you in the next episode.